Hey everyone, uh, after this invasion weekend, the uh, tank crusher, uh, I kind of it kind of grew on me. Um, I, I liked using it. It was a fun unit to play with. I like the animations. I, I, I love that it smashed a, a large section of the board. Um, I'm glad that it hits uh, soldiers as well as vehicles. Uh, and it does have the capability to hit planes. So uh, all around a pretty good unit. So I decided to uh, take advantage of the the 2SP weekend and rank up the tank crusher uh, to rank seven just to see uh, how much difference it would it would make and uh, it gets a uh, 15 uh, bonus to power, five offense, 30 armor, and 30 hit points. Uh, the one thing I did notice is that the unit dies rather quickly. So um, if it starts to take heavy fire, uh, it, it they tend to uh, which they tend to do, they end up. Uh, they end up dying kind of quickly. So I don't know how well they're going to work on a boss strike, but I can uh, I can just see using them on this level uh, just during the invasion, um, some of them would lose more than half of their health. So after five levels, I don't know how long they're going to live, but they're still fun to play with, and I'll see how well they do during the boss strike. I've put together a couple of videos that I want to show you guys. Um, the first one uh, being a PvP. Uh, I got one of my friends to uh, <clears throat> to uh, demonstrate this. If you have a bunch of units who that are clumped together, now I know this is not a realistic battle. No one's ever going to bring their forces like this. Uh, but I wanted to show you uh, kind of how well it does if you if you freeze units before you use the tank crusher. Uh, it does some amazing amazing damage. Now those mega tanks have 750 health, um, so this is before. I want to pause that and do a little replay. This is without freezing them. So you see uh, you're getting a max of 157 and, and your, your lowest is around 130. Okay, so that's that's just the regular shot, uh, the 21 ton collision shot. So now I want to take my ETs and I want to freeze these units. Okay, I was able to freeze those three on that side and then I'll t I took my other ET and I got really lucky and ended up freezing uh, every unit on the board. So worked out very, <laughs> very amazing. So anyway, uh, so now that all of them are, are frozen, I want to use the uh, the shot again and just show you how effective it is uh, once units are frozen. Bam! Look at that. The lowest there is 470, uh, and the highest is 589. Uh, so you can see how quickly, uh, if you freeze something, how quickly the uh, the tank crusher, uh, it, knowing that it's going to get 100% crit on that shot every time, means your damage is going to always look like that when you freeze a unit. Uh, d depending on uh, also the the, the the whatever defenses that other unit has, so it's, it, it'll change some, but you'll still get very high. Uh, very high points off of that. So that was uh, right there shows you how good that shot can be when uh, units are frozen. So now with another, I could easily finish this out with another one of these and take out those units uh, completely. So pretty cool. Now I want to show you how well it does against the ancient construct, um, <clears throat> which I mean, you know, it is a vehicle unit, so you can get. Uh, it can get crits quite often. So I wanted to use the different shots on it. Let's use the uh, the rocket assault. Now nah, let's use this first. Got a crit and a 391, which is not bad. Um, let's see, that has that shot right there, which is the vehicle crush has a 70% armor piercing. Whereas the 21 ton collision has 60% armor piercing. Um, so there's a rocket shot, and it just got three crits uh, in a row, which was pretty awesome. Let me back that up 121, 184, and 145. So when the rockets crit, they do amazing as well. And the 21 ton collision, 195. So you can easily make. Uh, can easily de destroy that guy with him. So I wanted to see how he'd use on the battlefield, <clears throat> and I left out my mega tanks and I put in the uh, tank crushers instead. <clears throat> so 
we'll see how they fare with uh, the Ancient Sentinel. Uh, a lot of the new units I put in there, like the Samurai, which does very well as well uh, against the Sentinel. Legendary Boars, of course. Shot Steel does very well against the Ancient Sentinel. And you want to bring a Radio Tech to battle, which is uh, always a good thing. Now, you may not like to do this, but I like to heal my Radio Tech if he gets shot the first time. And he's frozen, he gets stunned. Um, just because I know he's not going to die, to me it's, it's just one nanopod. I can watch a video and get that back real quick. So, it's no big deal. If he shoots my Radio Tech uh, the first time, I'm just going to go ahead and heal it. Uh, just because... I don't like exiting and then going back into battle. I get I get kind of lazy. So there we go. Uh, now that my radio tech has had it shot, I can kind of work around these these other guys. And I'm going to take. And he he is definitely stunning a lot of my units this time. And the cool thing about the uh, samurai is he cannot be stunned, so he can't stun him. And you notice my the the tank crushers are getting crits uh, almost. Every time, even the uh, even that one that, that shot there, which doesn't have a hundred percent chance of getting getting a crit, that actually only has a sixty five percent chance. Uh, so that's very good. So you can see how quickly the uh, ancient sentinel's health goes down using these variations of new units that we have, which are um, which are very helpful. Okay, so. I mean, there used to be just a couple of ways you could beat the Ancient Sentinel, but now with all these new units, I mean, people have tons of different ways uh, that they're killing the Ancient Sentinel. Um, more ways than you used to have. So that is that is kind of awesome. Um, I like to use the boars, because when they get a crit, they do uh, very well. They can get up in the 300s. Uh, and I love that... Uh, 21 ton collision got a, a good crit always gets a crit on the body um, and the fact that it's doing 60% armor piercing isn't bad as well and this last the last shot I'm going to kill this guy with is going to be what oh it didn't kill him okay 96 so got one more shot I'm going to close him out with the samurai and he is done for. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, enjoy. I hope you guys are enjoying your uh, your new units that you got. And hopefully they'll work out really well this upcoming boss strike. Let me know what you guys rank, ranked up during uh, this SP weekend. I know a lot of you got a lot of good things ranked up. So let me know below in your comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys soon.